My name is Max, I'm a freshman and I've been swimming for eight years. So my name is Jaden Wright, I'm an alumni of the DGN Swim and Dive team and I've been swimming for 11 years now. Okay, so hi, my name is Lucolo. I'm a senior in high school, I think. I've been swimming for around eight, nine, ten years. So something around there, I don't really remember. Um, Hello, my name is Jack Costello. I'm a senior and I've been swimming for 13 years. All right, so the reason why I started swimming, so my dad swam in high school and in college as well, but but we had a, a swim team in our neighborhood that I wanted to be a part of. But so, but swimming, because they're not, there's not requiring a lot of, um, you know, uh, hand-eye coordination and stuff. Um, swimming, you know, builds, you know, like your muscles and everything, and I know it would be a good workout. I, my dad would always say, oh yeah, it's a great workout for you, but uh, swimming just, again, being part of a team and just doing something that I know I can get better at. I started swimming because I moved to Orchard Brook when I was seven, and they had a swim team, so I joined to make friends. Why do I swim? Or why did I begin to swim? Uh, my friend Brian was on the park district team, and I didn't want to be left out, so I joined the park district team. All right, so the effects of being on the DGN Swim and Tive team, they can go from just being physically, you know, tired just from uh, constantly working out from morning practices all the way to, you know, after school. And you also just, so your shoulders are tired, your legs are tired, but also coming with that is also you're being hungry all the time. And then because of this, it kind of can fry your brain. That's why all of us are obsessed with memes and dabbing and really bad memes if that. But, um, you know, you just kind of, you kind of get over it, but we're all, we're all like a brotherhood and like a family, even though I'm not even on the team anymore, I'm still friends with everyone on the team. I'm really good at dealing with like monotony. I also find that uh, it makes me deal better with stress uh, because it's, it's kind of a stressful sport and there's a lot of physical pain involved, so it's made me tougher. What are the different types of swimmers? You got the distance swimmers, who I don't know why they're distance swimmers because they have to hate themselves for swimming so long and what at like at a time. Uh, I, I'm a breaststroker. Breaststrokers are really part of our own like clique. We're usually not very good at all the other strokes. You now there's different types of you know personalities that go into swimming, such as there's breaststrokers are kind of just like their own type of human. Uh, I'm not gonna mention any names. Jack Costello, <laughs> but. You know, he's kind of, they're kind of all weird. They kind of have their own, they do their own little thing. But you know, swimmers in general, I mean, there's people who don't want to, who expect to come, who come to practice and expect to be super good, but they don't want to try. But there's also kids who never come to practice, but expect to be really good. Um, but there's also those swimmers that really are dedicated, that want to get better and they, you know, understand the whole sport. Uh, we bleach our hair because you know, our hair is already really damaged from the season and, you know, it's just something fun to do because we're going to shave it off anyway. It's kind of a bonding experience. It's a good bonding experience, but more importantly, it kind of like, it's transformative, I guess, because you almost feel a little, like a different person when you have bleached hair or no hair. And then I guess that kind of leads to my last point, which is the whole idea with bleaching and dyeing your hair is that you are going to shave it all off anyway at the end, and that whatever you do between those two points doesn't matter anymore. Oh!